meeting bronze bream and stone bream to start off with today just to give you a little bit of uh, information as far as the safari chillers go these are the new lightweights whenever you get a new bait box the best thing that i can suggest is to take this is aniseed and banana essence uh, what we're going to do with it is basically place it on our bait box to get rid of the smell of all the polypropylene and that or the, the, the smell of all the plastic that's actually on it because it's a brand new box so what I'm going to do first is just drop one or two drops on it and just clean it off like that that's just a little trick that I've learned over the years anything that's new what we're looking for over here if you can have a look at the sea we've got a lovely rock over there rolling white water if you look far to the right, you'll see there's a lot of weed, and that's the only thing that worries me. All that weed at the back has been turned up there. So I'm going to start here and see if we can't get your bronze beam right here in front. The trace that I'm using is pretty much two ounce sinker, ten kilo snooting to the sinker, my anti tangle free sleeve, about 30 to 40 centimeters because it's quite deep here, so I'm making it very long. I've got a gummy stop on there. I've got my red float. And I've got that little kickback system with the Chinu 1O. It's a Chinu 1O hook. What I'm using is my Saltus 4000 reel, 20 pound braid, uh, it's our J braid. And I'm using the new BG 10 foot 6. It's a three piece rod. Uh, it's got a very fast action. It's 30 to 90 grams. So it's ideal for this light fishing or scratching and it's ideal for throwing spoons and that as well if there's a shad around. Okay, let's get fishing. I'm here with Ray Thompson at uh, Aloe's big fisherman side and we are looking for some bronze bream. See it's a bit flat, we're a bit late from the uh, high tide, uh, from the low tide. We we're giving it a shot and while he was talking I told him we must talk first then I could quickly put a bait out. Which I did, but the biggest took it immediately. I fished a carp wide game, number four. You can fish a number two as well, slightly bigger. And I've got 0.44 Siglon for a carbon as my snoot with a little kingfisher float. Now, the whole thing with this brunch dream time of the year is it's such a lovely fish to fish for scratching with the lighter gear. It's my first fishing trip with a new BG rod. And the runner up for the XLR rods that added spots with a whole bunch of new improvements due to technology. The BG is really a rod to look at now. We're fishing the 11, 11.6 foot, <coughs> which is a more sensitive rod, lighter rod. And so far, I've had one cast. I'm really enjoying it. So we'll see. We need to get a fish on it, obviously. You guys know how I feel about christening a rod. You get a new rod, you need to sort it out. On that I matched it with a BG4500, needs no introduction to BG reels. They really become one of the more popular reels available on the market. And I've got Daiwa j braid I've got 30 pound on this reel. And I'm fishing a four ounce sinker because we're fishing in more open water. It's not covered in reef here. So just that it doesn't wash too fast. But yeah, let's all get a fish with you. target species that we're looking for for today and I've just seen a lovely stone beam in the wave there just changing my trace quickly to another lighter trace much smaller hook much smaller hook same concept let's see if I can catch a stone beam here quickly species that we are looking for but this is a baby 
And look at how the fish is actually in the bottom jaw. That's a guano chino hook. And those fish are hooked perfectly in their bottom jaw every time. in the reefs. You might come out for Brunsbury, but if they're not around, there's still other fish. Like Ray is on a mission there to get some stone breed. It's also a very nice fish to catch. Very quiet, midday, and the fish are just not producing, especially not the bream. Maybe when the tide turns, we might start catching some, but at the moment, it is absolutely dead. A lot of stonies, but yeah, I want to catch a bream now. That's the target species right now. <laughs> Watch here. One very small black tail, and that's how our day's been going, unfortunately. We can't give up, unfortunately. Got to catch fish. Better. Again, another gorgeous stone beam. They're starting to feed now. There we go. looking for. We worked about I would say a kilometer and a half that way, a kilometer and a half back. And uh, nothing solid. There was I think a lot of stone bream when we were fishing for bronze bream so the hooks were too big. Ray adaptive and he got some smaller stone bream out but we saw some very big ones in the water but no bronze bream. There was a lot of stone bream. And nothing else. Nothing else really took the bait except that banana fish this morning. It's my best catch for the day. But uh, that's fishing. What can we do? First time we fished aloes and big fishermen. Uh, I think it can be a very, very nice area if the water works a bit better. Because the sea is quite flat. It's not rolling enough, not enough working water. But hey, it's still better. Today out fishing, it's still better than sitting in the office. 